Kate here and welcome back to another video. Today is some more simple chibis after sort of realising I I did them for the last tutorial, which by the way you should go check that out because it's a tutorial video and tutorial videos are fun. Yeah. Anyway, simple chibis because I ended up with a lack of time because of my shoulder playing up badly. I did start a draw it again on Saturday, live streaming it. And then my shoulder's been dead since. It feels a bit better today. So I'm just like, what's something quick and simple I can do? Simple chibis! Plus, it's my ball jointed doll's birthdays. The three tinies that you can see in the reference picture up to the left. But it's their birthday, so I had to do something for them. So I'm just like, I'll draw simple chibis of all of them. I also um, went to the lake nearby in the park and took some photos of them. I haven't ha gotten the chance to edit those photos yet as I had to do this video because then I have boot camp and then I have a massage so hopefully my shoulder should be good again for a while after this massage. I'm actually too excited. Although it's straight after boot camp and I'm gonna be like a sweaty mess. <laughs> it's gonna be so bad. Like I'm gonna take wet ones like wipes just to make myself a little bit less sweaty because it's stupidly hot outside still. I am so sick of the heat. But yeah, I don't actually have too much to say this video. It's just, let's talk about my dolls for a little bit. So right now I am doing the line art for Arisa. Arisa. She is a Lutz Tiny Delph Dorothy. Um, she has a Kroby doll wig and one of my friends made her clothes that she's wearing. The shoes are Lutz though and I made the headband. Um, and she was my very first doll that arrived five years ago today and I love her. She's my baby. She's the bossy baby. Yeah, she's... Yeah. <laughs> and then the one I'm doing the lines of now is Miller. She's actually a centaur and she's a Lutz Tiny Delph Girdle. Although now, um, I can't remember what they call the sculpt now. It's something different on the site. But on my um, certificate of authentication, it says Gerda on it, so... Oh, Gelda, that's what it says online now, Gelda. But on my certificate, it still says Gerda, because that was her name when I got her. And then, the one on the right, Gretel, she's a Lutz Tiny Delph... Lutz Tiny 20 Delph Gretel, Queen of Hearts, limited edition Queen of Hearts. Just looking at Miller right now, she's got hair everywhere. I, it was windy today when I took her out for the photo shoot. Let's try and fix that. But yeah, Gretel on the right, she was the Queen of Hearts limited edition, but I didn't, wasn't able to get her dress when I bought her. But I think last year it was, I actually managed to buy the dress by itself. So now she's basically a full set, like not the wig, and her hearts come off her face, so it's just a, well the gem, so it's just a red heart on her face now. But yeah, they're my three baby girls, and I love them. I just cracked my finger. I don't know if you heard that or not. Um, I do have two other ball jointed dolls as well. Um, they're bigger ones, and they're not getting attention in this video because it's my little one's birthdays. But yeah, if you don't know what a ball jointed doll is, by the way, I probably should have said this earlier. It's a hand casted doll made out of resin. They're generally in like Korea and Japan, like Asian countries they're made in. Um, some people do just make like their original sculpts as well and sell them. But yeah, they're highly customizable, so you can paint their faces, change their eyes, change their wigs, mod them, do whatever you like. They're a really great creative outlet for creating characters and just it's really fun to like express a character through a physical form. My dolls, they sort of created their own personalities, like they weren't characters I had before I had them and their main sort of thing is their doll form. I barely draw them because it feels weird drawing them for some reason. I just, I can't get it right even though I know what they're like, I just can't get the actual drawings right. Like chibis sort of work because they're very, my tinies do have a very chibi like shape, particularly Arisa on the left. Um, my centaur is a centaur and the tiny 20 is very, she's a lot more tall, she's probably about four heads high and she's very petite and skinny. And I tried to show that in the chibi as well. Her hair's messy too. Let's try to fix this up. Also she has a panda toy, Gretel, 
and I, I didn't draw it in. And Arisa has a little blue teddy bear. But I'm just like, I'm not gonna draw them this time. But yeah, I really don't have much to say and I am running out of time as well. I was actually gonna edit this after boot camp originally and then I ended my stream very early. By the way, I do live stream so be sure to go follow my Twitch, the link is in the description below. My streams, I don't have a particular timetable yet as I'm looking for a job, but once I sort of know what times I'm working and everything, I'll actually set a proper schedule. But I do stream fairly often. I forgot what I was saying before streaming, before the whole stream stuff. What was I saying? I have no idea. Whoops. Let's move on. And if I was saying something interesting, all of you will just have to miss out. Now I remember. But yeah, I was going to edit this after boot camp, but then I finished the stream early. Like I finished these because I was sort of slightly rushing because I was worried I wouldn't have time because I had to finish these before boot camp. So yeah, I would prefer to upload this while I'm at boot camp in my message because my internet pretty much is non-existent. But I've got a feeling this won't export in about... 20 minutes so yeah unless oh, I don't have to leave at five past for boot camp I can leave a bit later I'm always early to things I'm dreading boot camp though I am just sitting here in my room the door closed just because I'm doing this voiceover like I've got my little sister and cousin here this room has heated up so quickly in the seven minutes that I have been recording this voiceover so far Anyway, I think I'm going to leave my voice over here. So thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos every Monday and Friday. Bye!